everyone, and welcome back to Showcase. Now, we've covered a couple weapons. If you have one axe, a pair of axes actually, swords, a knife, claymore, a light claymore. Now, what should I cover next? Keep it a bit of variety here, so things don't go too stale. Well, I've made the easy choice of a spear. Which spear? Well, the fancy one, the person. Parsons rather synonymous with most spears. If you think a spear, chances are in your head you think of a parson. Because it's rather, rather odd bevel, how it's very short but very thick and then tipped to the point. But yes, this one you can find really relatively early in the game too, in the Undead Village, as I recall. Now, I could start off the plain spear, but I thought I'd shake up a bit and cover that one another day. So, the parson. Description reads, A spear with the blade attached to a broad point. Long reach and can be used with a shield up, which is a very interesting concept. We'll be testing that later. This weapon can all can utilize its blade for slicing attacks, and can generally be adapted for many situations. But in cramped quarters, it, slic it slices ricochet off walls. That could speed set of a lot of weapons. Claim all great swords, ultra great swords, these spears, most weapons that swing broadly, it even whips. But yes, it can also jab and slash. That's a very interesting concept for a spear. Now, for the skill, it has the spin sweep. Sounds interesting. Sweep slows in a large spinning motion, and utilizes momentum to transform into an overhanded strong attack smash. I think it's in layman's terms, it means you spin around and hit stuff with your spear. <laughs> Although when I put it that way, it doesn't sound exactly very impressive. Kudos to the writer trying to make that sound impressive. <laughs> no matter. So you can use it with a shield, and you can slash with it. So, how we look at it, we can see, well, it's a plain spear, but it has a rather leather jacket towards the end there. I'm guessing that's there for aesthetic purposes, but as if someone with an axe tries to chop off the head of your spear, at least the leather might protect it? Question mark? Not sure on that one, but oh well. Looks nice. So, looking at the stats here. The physical damage is okay. I'm not going to say it's good or bad. It's kind of in the okay region. The critical is the same, as in most spears will be. The attribute bonus is mediocre, 2Ds like so many other starting weapons. And attribute requirements, well it's fairly low for both strength and dexterity. You can wield this very early in the game without too much trouble. Now the swim speed uh, doesn't really take very much FP, only 11, so it's very small. Trust me it is. And the weight, well it's silly heavier than that Drakewood Greatsword there today, but it's still fairly lightish at 6.5. So overall, a very okay weapon. Nothing bad, but so far, nothing tremendously good either. But that may change as we go further into this video and look at this weapon. Alright, on the animations, the basic attack, well, it's a spear lunge. Nothing special about that, but it is quick. Now you can also do this with a shield up. It's a little bit slower, by half a second, but hey, you're safe while you do it. But you don't get stamina nearly as quick back. Now the powerful attack, well, you got a sweeping motion with your spearhead. The slash attack I mentioned earlier. However, you can't do this with the shield up. You should really go without saying. <laughs> now, two-handed wise, well, you got another lunge for the basic attack. It's also just as fast. And two-handed power attack, well, it's another lunge. Just a little bit different, but it's pretty much the same. Now the special move, the sweep, well, it's certainly the sweep. However, it's nice to know you can do this with one-handed or two-handed. Does not matter. And for the sprint-wise, well, you can sprint and charge. And same thing goes for two-handed. Now, the upgrade path. Luckily, it takes Tate Knight shards. But it's not that great. You get ten damage. Meh. The first upgrade is a meh. The tree bonus goes up slightly. You get nine. So it could be better. Anyway, moving past the first upgrade, we can see that eh, it's still meh. 
They have 11 damage. Still get 9 for the the bonus. So again, I'm not a man. However, on the next upgrade, we see something interesting. The Attributor bonus goes from a D to C on Dexterity, which is interesting. Because the Attributor requires only 12 Dexterity to wield. But here you can see the Attributor bonus goes up by 12 for the next upgrade. So you can see this actually goes a bit somewhere. So the early upgrade of this weapon is promising. Now, how's this doing the field? Well, it's a spear. So you should feel a lot safer with it. Most of these problems are cower. It says 211 damage, 211 damage. Let's try a basic strong attack. And 199. So the basic shield kick and follow up the attack is more powerful than the, the trial, you know, the power attack. But anyway, this is one I, one I want to fight. Yeah, that's right, we can pretty much troll these guys now. They don't feel so tough now because we interrupt their attacks. Just poke them. Every time they start to get a little too proud of their moves, just poke them. <laughs> Almost humorous. Pathetic. That's where this weapon shines. Being a coward. Hide behind a shield. Poke the bastard to death. <laughs> As for the power attack with double hand, it's okay. But spears aren't really meant to be used two-handed. Not a whole lot. Not in this game, anyway. You're better off keeping up with your shield up. But otherwise, it's still good. You still got a lot of range, for the most part. Now, the special move, it's okay. It didn't really do a whole lot of damage. It's a meh. But I have noticed something, though. The poise is ignored. This move cannot be interrupted when it starts. I tried it many times, and even though the damage is not good, I cannot be uninterrupted when it starts, even if the opponent hits me. Observe. I'll do it again. Or maybe not. I'll just finish them off with some pokes. <laughs> it's not very powerful, but that is interesting to note. Now, uh, the medium-sized opponents. I tried a sneak attack, and it's okay. It isn't, it's pretty much average. So, I'll go up at a, against a bigger opponent. Starting to incorporate these large enemies. However, against a large opponent, this does surprisingly well. The damage isn't is, is pretty much okay. But however, the follow-up attacks are quick. The Drake Blood, uh, the Drake Blood Greatsword did more damage, but this weapon's much quicker, as it is a spear. So follow attacks were extremely quick. So it did job just fine. Now on some pros and cons on the Parston. On the pro side, we've got a weapon with solid damage. It has good reach, and you can use it with your shield up. At least a basic attack, anyway. Also, as a pro, the special move cannot be interrupted when started. So that is a pro in my book. Somewhat. It's a bit of a double-edged sword. <laughs> okay, on the con side, however, this weapon's attacks are fairly generic. You got a sweep motion that's too wide in my book. Or a jab, so it lacks a bit of leave right in between. Next, uh, you do have to worry about enemies with shields, that it'll do very poorly against that, as they could not poke through or had difficulty getting around an enemy with a giant shield. And that is pretty much the cons of the Parston. Not too many cons, but they are a bit heavy because it's the spear itself, but no matter. So, in conclusion, well, the Parston, it's a spear. No shit. But it's a very good spear at that. The spear itself is possibly not the best weapon to use in Dark Souls because of its limited use. I will not say limited, but it's a very specific use on certain enemies, while other enemies work around it. But still, it's still a solid choice for a weapon, especially early game. You can keep enemies at a distance until you get more comfortable with dodging, rely on your shield a bit more. Still an excellent weapon. At least gets my seal of approval. But in terms of will it be good for Endgame, I do not think so. But that is my opinion. Take it or leave it. But either way, I thank you for watching Showcase, and take care out there.